second and goal. Pass is intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. Unreal. Super Bowl hero. And late in Super Bowl 49, America got introduced to Malcolm Butler of the Patriots. Turned out to be the hero. And then the second guessing began with Pete Carroll. Will Selva alongside Elliot Harrison. And you're here to tell us the three players who you think will be this year's Malcolm Butler in Super Bowl 50. Yeah, I think the camera caught me bouncing to that little beat we had on the, the sound full. But you know who has been doing it this year? Going to his own beat, man. I love his Kurt Coleman because I, I was really hard on this guy early in his career when he's with Philadelphia. But he has gotten better with age, and that's what you want out of a player. You want a player to get smarter, to play smarter. Kurt Coleman, I don't know if he's gotten smarter, but he sure plays better than he did in Philadelphia. And kudos to him for becoming a difference maker for this Panthers team somewhat under the radar. Seven interceptions this year, a touchdown, five tackles for a loss, and some really big plays. Uh, Like that one, the championship game. That was not the only big play in the NFC Championship. Had this big interception against the Redskins late in the year, and he also had another one against Tony Romo. There you see it uh, on Thanksgiving. Good producing right there. Absolutely. Kurt Coleman, I think, could be a difference maker in Super Bowl 50. Maybe two picks. Maybe. Well, well At least maybe one. two picks. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, for Denver, you think Danny Trevathan is the one to keep an eye on? Yeah, Danny Trevathan, I've seen him make a lot of big plays in his young career, and I really debated between him and Brandon Marshall. Brandon Marshall, the other inside back for the Broncos, got caught in coverage with James White a lot in the championship game. Brady kept trying to hit it, wasn't able to. I wonder if the Panthers will try to make hay on Danny Trevathan and also how he'll do in the run game against Jonathan Stewart. I think he's a good little player. He has come up big in key spots for this team at various times. You see that one right there against the Chargers. I remember a big interception he had a few years ago against the Cowboys at Cowboys Stadium in that shootout uh, between Peyton Manning and Tony Romo at the end of the game. You see that in coverage. I wonder if he's going to be able to steal one from Cam Newton underneath. Be interesting to see. And he's got a teammate that's also on this list, Malik Jackson, who you think could potentially be this year's Malcolm Butler. You bet. Malik Jackson, the great attitude guy, and a guy that's got a good motor. Look, defensive ends in a 3-4 don't generally get the pressure. It's the outside backers. It's DeMarcus Ware. It's Vaughn Miller. Yep. That's the way it's set up. That said, though, sometimes they'll move him a little bit inside, and if he can get pressure up the middle in Cam's face, I don't care how mobile of a quarterback you are, if you have pressure right in your face like Josh McCown did right there, it is very difficult to get that ball off And what if Malik Jackson forces an errant pass getting in Cam Newton's face that the Broncos take to the house? It could change the game, spin Super Bowl 50 on its axis. I like Malik Jackson. I think he's a very underrated player for that top-ranked Broncos defense. And maybe he's a guy that decides to go to Disneyland at the end of the game. How about that? That would be something, huh? He is something else, isn't he, America? Elliot Harrison, reviewing pleasure. (laughs) 